France and Australia took charge of their Davis Cup semi-finals in Saturday's doubles as they built 2-1 leads over Serbia and Belgium respectively. Two-time Grand Slam champions Nicolas Mahut and Pierre Hughes Herbert beat Filip Krajinovic and Nenad Zimonjuk 6-1, 6-2, 7-6-3 for France. Apart from a scare in the third set when the Serb pair won four games in a row, Mahut and Herbert were in control on the indoor clay court and put France one win away from their 18th Davis Cup final. We are super happy and very proud, said Herbert, who won Wimbledon and the U.S. Open with Mahat. Mahat, who has been hampered by a calf injury in recent weeks, thanked the medical staff for enabling him to play. They did not count their hours to put me back on my feet, he said. This victory is also theirs. Meanwhile, in Brussels, Australia also need just one more point to reach the final for the first time since they won the title in 2003 after John Pierce and Jordan Thompson breezed past Arthur de Grief and Ruben de Melmans of Belgium 6 3, 6 4, 6 0. It was surprising. Davis Cup doubles you usually see marathon five setters. Thompson said. A highly anticipated contest between Belgium's David Goffin and Nick Kyrgios could become the climax of Sunday's reverse singles in the Belgian capital. Meanwhile, Joe Wilfried Tsonga can clinch the other tie for France with victory over Lejovic. In the absence of Novak Djokovic, Viktor Trowicki, and Janko Tipsarevic, Serbia were given little chance against the French, but Dusan Lajovic gave Serbia a 1-0 lead on Friday before Tsonga won the second singles. If he Tsonga fails to beat Lajovic, the tie will be decided in the final singles between Lucas Puy and Serb debutant Laszlo Jarre.